Don't trip, folks. Your eyes didn't play no tricks on you, right? I know you guys have seen that thumbnail and you done read that title. And guess what, folks? It's finally here. Look, today I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to make Bidia, 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 Bidia tacos. You know what? Don't say I don't read the comments, because I do. Listen, this is one of like the most requested things that I do. I got my boy right here, CJ. He's here for a reason. You see that right there? I'm going to let him take over right there. All right. We got the Ninja Foodie right here. We got a pressure cooker. We are cutting the time in half for making beer yet, if not sooner. Hey, right? you know what? That's key. Because yep. I, I know it takes three to four hours to get your meat right. It's true. But you're cutting the time down in. Yeah. If you want to do this like the old school way, you put it in that Dutch oven or on the stove. It takes hours and hours. We are trying to eat right now. So we're using the Ninja Foodie right here. We're going to pressure cook it. You do an Instapot, same thing. All right? Okay, so look, we might as well just talk about the star of the show. Hey, the short ribs. And look, I noticed, look, you see the marrow? Now, you was explaining to me about what the marrow does. Talk to me. All right, so while these are cooking and braising in there, it's going to release that marrow flavor. We got some chuck roast right here. We tried to find enough of some fat running through it, some marbling. We got plenty of marbling on the short ribs. All that fat is going to add flavor. All right. Fat is flavor. No doubt. Yeah. Then you know what? We got fresh tomatoes, onions. We got some ingredients here. But look, I want to talk about these right here. I see these all the time. I know they like dried, right? But I know we got to rehydrate these, right? Sir. But first off, we need to cut off the stems and de-seed them. Boom. Got it. And I, I don't know if this was said right now. I know we doing these three different ways. Yes, Let's get it. All right, first off, most popular, quesadilla tacos, all right? That'll be one step, one prep, then we're gonna do some birria ramen, and we're gonna use our instant cup, it's a cup of noodles, right? Okay. All right, and the last thing, we're gonna make a birria burrito, little beans, little guac, cotija cheese, it'll be money in the bank, dude. All right, let's go. All right, let's get going. All right. We're gonna move this dial here to the sear saute mode, all right? Hit start, you got it on high, it's gonna start warming up on the inside and we'll start browning off this beef. Okay, so what you gonna do? Okay, look, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna get these and quarter them, right? Yeah. And you want these quarter too, yeah. right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these like this, right? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Just leave them whole like that. Right, all right. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil in there and we'll start searing off our short ribs. Now for a dash of that kosher. Always use kosher salt. Always. All right, so look, I'm gonna put this in the oven, which is already ready. I'm gonna put it in for about 30 minutes. So you guys wanna see what we're looking for. We wanna get that nice browning, that nice sear. All right, we're gonna do that on all sides of the ribs and the chug rows. Okay, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, prep these and get these going, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off the top like that. Okay. You know what? I'm so glad that you told me to use scissors because when I do it, you know what I mean? I'm always taking a knife trying yeah. to do it like an envelope. For real. This right here just makes it so much more easier. All right, so we're gonna pull these all out. They're browned up real nice. Got as many sides as possible. Look at that right there. All right, let's get the chuck roast in. We'll finish it off. We're doing the same exact thing. Just cut the top off like that, open it up a little bit, get your kitchen shears, and just cut these down, and then DC. Remember, this is just to prep so we can rehydrate. Okay, guys, we got enough browning on the chuck roast over here, so we're gonna pull these out, put them on the tray with the rest of these. All right, we're ready to get these peppers rehydrated. Okay, so. so pull the top off, so add your beef stock. Beef stock. We get this to a nice little rolling boil. And we'll add our chilies in. Okay. Call it a day. Okay, so look, I can see right now we got a nice little. Smell good. Yeah, man, it's just a nice boil. But anytime you're doing beef, you know it's gonna smell good. Yes, sir. Right. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and just. I don't know why I'm opening this up. I'm doing this for the sake of the uh, yeah, video, right? Sure. Just showing it's deceited. We'll put the anchos in, the ancho chili, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and let you pronounce the name of this chili. All uh, right, these are chili wahio. Wahio. Got it. All right, so we're gonna let this go. 15, 20 minutes, they'll rehydrate really quickly. And then we're gonna use this beef stock when we're building the consomme. Just look at that right there. Ooh wee. You wanna talk about flavor? It's going down. Now, let's go. All right, so what are we gonna do now? All right, we're gonna add some of these to our blender. All right. We'll squeeze out the garlic bulbs when you're not holding a boiling hot pan of. And I wanna say this, somebody come here and look at this. Look at this right here. Hey, you did a great Gorgeous. job. Hey. Gorgeous. 
I like that word right there. You know, for me being from the hood, I don't use that word that, that often by saying gorgeous. You know what I mean? I mean, but it's a great way to describe <laughs> a great. It is. Great it is. Piece of meat. It is. I'm gonna give it a couple pulses. Just start breaking it down a little bit. All right, now we're gonna push the puree button. Come over here, take a look at the goodness that we have made. Smell it, tell me that don't look amazing. All right, let's get the meat in the pot here. All right. There's no real order in here. It's all gonna get covered up, it's all gonna get braised. All right, let's get our chili sauce in there. Chili sauce. If you ain't making a mess when you're cooking, you ain't even trying. Well, now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in the inside right now. I'll just sprinkle this over the top. Now, I'm gonna add the bay leaf last. All right, let's shut this down. We're gonna slide it over to the pressure cook. So look, this is one of the reasons why you really, really here. Just the fact that you said we can make video in one hour, like an hour to an hour and a half. Yes, sir. That's what I like about it. Hey, listen, you might sell me on this right here, because I can tell you that it does so many functions that Oh, there's 14 different things you can do on that. Now you can get rid of all them different appliances you sure. have. And you know, counter space is at a premium, so. Oh yeah, especially nowadays. We got it on high. Our uh, lid is tight. Move the time. 90 minutes. 90 minutes in a pressure cooker? That should make that beef, you know, just shred perfectly. Let's start. Hit start. We're ready to go. Look, so it's been an hour and 40 minutes right now. It's coming up on that down camera person back up this is where it gets a little crazy we're gonna release hmm. the pressure this ain't my mama's old school let me back let me get up back a little bit. Uh, oh. set. so this will release all the pressure in there it'll let you know when it's done and then we'll start pulling the meat out and shredding it up all right <laughs> all right y'all <laughs> hey but you ready to see what we've been working yeah. on this whole time hey but i ain't gonna lie to everybody out there i can smell it because listen, when you was venting it, oh, yeah. it was putting all of that out here in the atmosphere. Hey, go ahead and do your thing. All right, you ready? Let's open this up. Be careful, that steam will get you. Ooh -wee. Look at all that good meatiness in there. Oh, man. That's that beautiful hey, can I, I just want to do this one time. Just one time. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I don't need, <laughs> I don't need nothing else. There That's you go. All, all right. All right, so we're going to pull out all that beef. Did you see that it just come apart right there? Yes, I did. All right, let's go. We're going to pull out all this beef and start shredding it up. All right. Make sure as you're pulling the stuff out, you pull the bones out too. All right, I'll go ahead and get these off. Somebody come here and look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that looks good. Oh, it smells so good too. I mean, for real though. We're gonna take some of this consomme that we have left over here. And we're gonna use it to hydrate the ramen noodles in there. We knocked out all the vegetables because who needs vegetables, right? And we just pour our consomme in there. Let it come together. It's warm enough. When this gets done, we're gonna add some video on the top. We're gonna add our onions and cilantro. And then this dish will be done and we'll move on to the video burrito. Hey, I know some of y'all gonna hit me down in the comment section below, but hey, this is taking a spread to a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna talk about the salt and pepper. Salt is supposed to be an enhancement, right? An enhancement tool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple of little generous pinches over the top like this. I'm gonna do three. Ah, it's beautiful. Hey, Dave, I can't, I can't say enough about it. Gorgeous. Hey, hey <laughs> I'm gonna go on a record right now and just see it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Come on. Look, and then I'll just give it one just for good measure over the top. Just for and we leave it alone like that. Now, when it comes to the pepper, you go ahead and use as much pepper as you like. Listen, this right here won't cause no kind of damage to you or nothing. This will just do nothing but add flavor also. Our ramen is done. I'm going to take the lid off here. We're going to go ahead and mix up the consomme. Oh, man. You can see what I'm talking about right here. The flavors in there. All right, Ooh. look at that. 
All right. AB, do the honors. Pile up that bitty on there. How much would you like to put on there? Uh, to, you know, cover it up. Cover it up. What? Say what? You feel me? Come on, let's go. Say what? And then we're going to put a little bit more of that consomme on top of that. Right. Oh, man. Good stuff right Is there. Is that right? All hey, right. wait, 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 ain't wait. We're going to top it like it's a chili. I like onions. I don't know about you. Right. Give that cilantro. And then a little bit of this cilantro. All right. That right there is a meal fit for the king or a queen. King or a queen. Sir. All right, my man. Tell me what you think. Look at that right there. We. Hmm. Right there, Cheers, folks. Cheers. You got slurp, man. Slurp. There you go. <laughs> Suspense is killing me. Now, this ain't no joke. Yeah. This is fire, bro. Yeah, fire. I told you. And let me tell you one more little secret. Y'all can take this if you want. Buy the beef cup of noodle. Just putting beef in it, all the beef flavors complement each other. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to the burrito, huh? All right, let's number two. The burrito. Let's go. We're giving you everything you need and more for a full on beardia fest. All right, good enough. Okay. Let's add a little uh, potato in there, a little papas frito. Oh, you got your, your Spanish going, huh? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'll add some frijoles. Am I doing good? Beans, Beans. okay. So there we go. A little cotita. A little bit of guac in there, just for good measure. All right. All right, get still rolling. Okay, so look. Since you put it all down this way, I'm just gonna roll it back this way, right? Right? Yep. All right, I'm gonna take it. Now we're gonna go back a little further. I'm not the best <laughs> burrito roller, you know? Yeah, it's so fine. Right. We'll just hit it like this. And these are not the, the freshest homemade tortillas. Right, right, right. But it's all good. We're working with what we got, people. Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, you know that's, that's perfection. Right? That I'm right there, that wheel, that wheel work. That wheel work, exactly. Right, so we got this here. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that there so everybody can gaze at it. You can only imagine how it is. Man, I am full, bro, from eating that whole, uh, <laughs> that ramen. Man, you I'm, devoured that ramen, dude, come on. Hey, that's an understatement. Yeah. There is no more ramen. There's you know no what more ramen left. Hey, you know what's strange about it? I ain't never heard of that. Really? Nah. That's good stuff, brother. That's Trust right. me. Okay, prep number three. Mm -hmm. Save the best for last. And your quesadilla taco. Dip this in the fat of the consomme. All right. Hear that sizzle already? We're gonna do two in there right now. Rock. Gonna let this kind of fry real quick. We'll give them a flip, add the cheese and the birria, and we'll be on our way. All right, we got these ready to go. Gonna add a little bit of the Oaxaca cheese in each of them. And then AB's gonna bless us with some of that birria. Oh yeah, man. Whenever I make something like this, I like to load it up. How's that? That little, yeah, you get that's it. your taco. I'm gonna add a little bit of this consomme in the beef. A little extra flavor. We're gonna fold them up. Get them toasted nice. We'll give it a couple of good press. We'll give these a flip in about 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds is up. Give it a flip. Got that nice caramelization on there. It's getting crispy, crunchy. Ready to dip. Crispy, crunchy, deep. <laughs> Whatever you say, that shit you. right there. It's all, it's all fire, buddy. All right, our first taco is ready to go. Let's get it on the board. AB, thank you, sir. Second taco. What you think about that? I ain't got no words for it, bro. I'm telling you, you thought that ramen was fire? Hey, don't, don't trip. That is five alarm right there, baby. Don't trip. I'm, hey, I've been inspired. There we go. All right, folks, there you go. Go. Oh, man. Case of beer and tacos. I just want to watch. There you go, <laughs> son. <laughs> what did I tell you? I mean, hey. Did, 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 did I blow your mind a little bit right there? Hey, this is great. What you did was you exposed me to something, a new way of thinking. Yes, sir. So check out what I'm going to do next week. I'm going to drop some real. 
I'm gonna drop a real gem on everybody. Okay, hey, okay. this courtesy of you though, bro. Hey, I'm here for you, bro. Hey, look, we're not gonna over talk it. You know, try this. You guys can see the blender and that foodie grill right there did most of the work. You know what I mean? Other than that, it's just us being sous chefs, you know, getting our little side stuff together. But that right there is fire. Hey, you see that right there? Hey, we're gonna bring that to the channel too. Hey, I'm not gonna over talk it. Listen, CJ, go ahead and let them know where they can find you, how we get down, and uh, man. I got two more tacos I got to eat, bro. That's all you, brother. All right. Listen, guys. Hey, B. Hey, thanks for letting me be on here, man. I'm cooking with CJ. Y'all check out my channel. We are on the road to 100,000. So oh, that's make right, sure huh? you get me there. All right? All Everybody right. watching this right now, hit that subscribe button. Hey, so, like, you, I really don't want to, like, over-talk it or nothing like that. I just want to, like, expose. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm glad he came here and did this. But, listen, it got my mind thinking in a whole different, you know, way. Now, with that being said, yeah. if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and bringing cool guests like this. Hey, guess what, folks? We out.